Saturday morning. It was the one day out of this whole ordeal that everything went right. And that was kind of her perfect day. She received her honorary appointment to West Point that morning. It was really cool because kind of that entire day she was able to do some fun things and to be Sarah again. They were looking for someone to step up and serve as escorts at this wish. It was amazing to be a part of it. She said, Mom, I need to go get a wig. I don't want him to see me as cancer girl. She had her posse with her, Sadie and, and Libby were there. She was being made up. She was trying to get into her tight jeans and she was trying to get her hair done up and makeup and the girls were getting all excited. The Hummer limo pulled up and her wish, her wish started. We got to pull in a back entrance and then park right behind the Miller Oasis stage. The girls each had uh, gift cards and they went out and bought all the concert swag. We had to serve as bodyguards because the crowd was insane. So we served as bodyguards and guarded her as she made her purchases. Originally it was just supposed to be Sarah, her dad and I going up to meet him. And he said, no, have it, everyone can come up. She had been pretty much wheelchair or bed bound for like the past week. So we were really amazed. We had the wheelchair sitting there. She gave me her classic, Dad, I'm not using that, and gave me the whack. The whole band just welcomed her, surrounded her, hugged her. They were so gracious. They were so just locked in on her, and she was the queen. The whole band signed her shirt. I thought Sarah was going to actually melt. They opened up the backstage curtain and rolled us right out onto the stage. There's all those thousands of people I was talking about sitting out there, and they're all looking up, and here we are with all the lights shining on us. As the band came out, the crowd obviously went in crazy. They looked over at Sarah and they waved. She was in her wheelchair, uh, dancing along and, and just, you know, singing along. It let her be a teenager again. For a few hours, it was wonderful. I thought she'd make it like a song or two. She made it almost the entire concert. I received a text um, from Sarah and her family about 11 o'clock uh, the night of the concert, and it just, you know, made, made my night. Near the end, Sarah was getting really tired. She uh, had her dad and Kevin take her back to the limo. She's laying in the limo, kind of gasping for, for air, and I go, so kiddo, was it all worth it? And she just gave me a big smile and a thumbs up. She was pretty tuckered out and went to bed that night. Tyler stayed in the room with her that night and I could remember hearing her coughing in the morning. About 10 to 8, she just woke up and um, kind of didn't, didn't really speak, just kind of motioned for me and was kind of panicky a little bit and reached out her hand for me. And um, I just held her hand and looked in each other's eyes. She took her last few breaths. <laughs> Her peacefully kind of laid back down, her eyes weren't closed, and that was it.